Hello. Today, we will be listening to a very scary story. This very scary story is called Woods of Children, and it is by Genevieve. There once was a family, a happy family, a family of two kids, twins, named Natalie and Noah, and of course, a mom and dad. That happy family lived in a cabin by the deep, deep woods of Maine. Natalie and Noah's parents always said to them, Natalie, Noah, you can, you can play outside, but whatever you do, do not, by any means necessary, go in the woods. They always listened to their parents, but one rainy day, that changed. Natalie and Noah were splashing around in the puddles and playing Rain Monster when they heard a childlike voice giggling and saying, Come on, Natalie, come on, Noah. They knew they weren't allowed in the woods, but they also knew they heard a child, so they thought it must be trustworthy. In a blink of an eye, Natalie and Noah were laughing and running into the woods. Natalie and Noah were about a mile into the woods when the giggling stopped. All Natalie and Noah could hear was the sound of rain pounding against the leaves. They looked at each other, then out of fear, sprinted out of the woods. At dinner, Natalie and Noah told their parents about their experience. They got in trouble for going into the woods, but still, their parents were relieved to see Natalie and Noah okay. The next day, it was sunny. Natalie and Noah were playing outside when they saw a little girl peeking out of the woods. Noah rushed Natalie inside and told her what he saw. Natalie Natalie didn't believe him. She pulled Noah out the front door to show him that the little girl was just a figment of his imagination. But when they stepped outside, the same little girl appeared on the doorstep. Natalie and Noah, Noah could see the Natalie shaking. Noah gathered up all his courage and asked the little girl, Hello, are you okay? The little girl replied with, I'm lonely. Will you come play with me in the woods? Noah, being his kind self, said, Sure. Natalie didn't want to, but did anyway. As Natalie followed her brother and the little girl, she saw other kids in the woods. She thought the other kids weren't lively at all when they were playing like her and her brother were. Natalie tugged on her brother's arm and whispered that they should go home. Noah nodded to her, his sister and looked at the little girl and said, I'm sorry, my sister and I have to go home. We might be able to play later. The little girl looked disappointed but also understanding. She said okay, then Natalie and Noah went home. The next day, Natalie and Noah couldn't play outside. Their mother said a couple of kids went missing in the woods. This brought alarm to Natalie and Noah, but they knew they were safe in their warm, cozy home. Later that day, Natalie felt the urge to go outside. So she tiptoed out the front door to find all of the children out of the woods and standing on her front porch. All of a sudden, all the children from the woods said, Natalie, we have something to tell you. We're not real children. Well, we were. We all wanted to play and have fun with the children in the woods, like you. But a beast wouldn't let us leave the woods because he wanted to eat us. He was huge, bigger than the tallest tree in this forest. Eventually, he ate every last one of us. And now we hunt our woods trying to protect you from the monster in these woods. Please tell your brother our news and stay far away from these woods. Natalie rushed to her house and told her brother everything. From that day on, Natalie and Noah stayed far away from the woods. They even moved because they told their parents they didn't feel safe. Now, if you ever go to Maine and hear a roar or a giggle from a forest, think of the woods of children.